hello there and today is another GeoGuessr video talking about my grinding for the GeoGuessr wildcard in Andorra in late July. I'm very hyped to, you know, give you guys an update. It's been a while. It's been about 10 or so days since the last video and since I've done my Instagram and shorts. You know, I've been quite busy and last week and a bit has been quite tough mentally, I would say, in terms of the grinding. Like, I've been kind of doing a lot a lot and maybe a bit too much at times and it's kind of caught up with me as the third week happened I would say so last week it really hit me and I kind of need some advice and stuff from people who are helping out I don't want to bring up names yet but uh, maybe once the event happens I want to give people a shout out and stuff for those who help me but um, yeah this, my friends have really helped me out with like you know kind of being more having a better idea of what what's more important you know giving yourself more rest time and stuff like that and yeah so pretty much um like this is like the second week you can see i did a fair bit at the start like tuesday was a very busy day um and you can see it's very busy and then when it got to sunday most of it sorry the weekend sorry it got a bit less busy um as it got to week three you can see it's kind of busy but then it kind of like it's not as active like compared to this for example like you can see that like, this grind grinding like even this grinding is a lot more intense than this and um, this but quality over quantity the sessions i've been doing have been very helpful the game practice i've been doing for the jewels format has been very helpful so far and that's something i want to focus on more i want to play more dual based practice practice the format or the potential format it can be and be prepared for those situations you know you got to train yourself to play in in the games and i'm not going to be playing competitive ranked because i kind of want to be a bit private with my grinding a little bit like i want to keep you guys updated you know with what things i'm doing but i don't want to be going into too much depth if that makes sense so and also because of the wildcard free being announced i rather not throw myself out there i kind of just want to do my own thing i've got a grinding plan i want to do and i'm going to still follow it and that's the reason why i didn't sign up for the thing i think my elo would have been too low anyway probably because i haven't played competitive rank for a while and the the difficulty of getting the 1700 rankings and stuff like that was a lot more easier i would say compared to like when i was doing it like four or five months ago so yeah like that's one of the things uh, w one of the reasons why and also i just want to concentrate on this wild card wandora this is a chance i don't want to be changing my plan because i've got another chance in another tourney that i might not even get picked for and yeah and also the format the way it's done i'm not the biggest fan of um i think there's a lot of things that could go wrong but i still think it's great to get some new faces in the community who are not really like you know super well known but i've been putting a lot of time and grind into the game getting some recognition from this which i'm very thankful the de developers doing but i also feel like there are some negatives with it, and i just hope that the moderating and you know if someone's been cheating or there's been any alt account fixing like that's my main worry because if it's a full open thing that could easily be a problem so like and if people are very subtle about it then are very clever about it that's going to cause problems like unless someone's blatantly obviously doing it i think people can really find a way of you know finding a way around it which is a big problem let's be honest so hopefully that doesn't become an issue but i have a feeling that there's going to be some incidents but i hope not and i hope it goes well and i'm like i say i'm very thankful that the developers are giving so many people opportunities to get in like it's good that some of these names are getting a chance or another chance like there's quite a few people who got like who were quite unlucky in the regionals getting another chance like ricky beast and me for example it's good to see those lads get another chance but yeah it's quite brutal and yeah um, i need to read more into it i don't, don't want to talk about things that i haven't fully read into but yeah like i say i think the idea of inviting these people back and also invite some new faces who've been you know who are not really well known outside of you know if you're really really well within the community giving them a chance is good but i still feel like you know there could be some issues there but hopefully there isn't but we'll see but yeah back to this i want to quickly talk about and um, the change in plan so as i was saying is i was having a i wasn't having a break but i was kind of taking it easy i was having more rest and i was kind of thinking more of quality of quantity when i'm tired give it a rest and play more games so pretty much give yourself more rest play more games that are suited to your preparations so like jewels games 
and also you know prioritize what's more important as well and don't do too much and rec and recap more that's the thing recapping more hasn't been good last week or so so i need to get that sorted because i think like in, after these two weeks so i'm on week four now uh, after week five that's where i feel like there isn't enough time to learn significant new chunks of information well at least um so yeah when it gets to that i think like i would say like 80 90 percent would be just recap and games and then maybe i might learn a couple of things or little bits and bobs you know uh, that might help but honestly at that point you just need to get ready for the games and put yourself in those you know, try and recreate it as much as possible like you're there but yeah so that's the thing i'm considering and i will be changing and i want to show you the change up so before i just had this and a very big summary list but now i can explain to three or four technically but i don't want to show you guys the, who i'm having sessions with you probably see some people who i've already done sessions with so shout out to everyone who's helped me out so far but there's some people i've got noted down who haven't contacted yet or haven't done the session with yet i don't want to just show their name you know um and you know, you know what i mean so yeah let's let's talk about the no move stuff so the no move stuff is just like what i've been covering so like you know a lot of european gen 4 stuff non-europe gen 4 stuff you know just car meta stuff because i did a lot of stuff with Moo, and then obviously like you know and typing the notes out as well which i think you know it's going to be a bit more tricky um getting all done but i've been doing that at the end of the week so it's more laid back but like i say you know i've kind of been it's kind of like a brainstorm i don't really look at this sheet that often and um, with the color coding maybe when i get back to russia i want to kind of um start color coding this in but uh, there's quite a lot to do, you know, and uh, I won't be able to get through all. So I'm just going to go with the flow. Like I say, I think recap countries are very important. So like Kazakhstan is very important. That is probably my strongest country if I recap it. I need to recap it and it will be a strength. Um, so hopefully Kazakhstan, I'll be more like I will be not rusty when I'm playing. So hopefully Kazakhstan will be sorted because I feel like I'm one of the best Kazakhstan players. I don't feel like I show much with Kazakhstan but whenever like I've been I've been grinding Kazakhstan a lot in the past and I feel like I'm one of the best at it but you know I don't want to be arrogant and you know I know it's one of my strong points at least you know so we'll see but yeah there's also you could put Colombia here and Nigeria because I did a lot of studying for those but I haven't really recapped I think Colombia's been better but Nigeria a lot of things have gone over my head so I do need to get that sorted but yeah, um, also have moving studies. So this is like anything, area code, postcode, region name, suffixes, languages, bus stop signs. You get the gist. Um, like pretty much everything, trying to even understand how to like approach a certain round where you get information. And also when you get the information, do you know how to break the, the, the country down because of that information? And that's what I want to do. You know, stuff that you'll find in moving that you probably won't find much at all in the no move scenario so hopefully this will be quite well done especially since this will be probably more active as it gets close to the event because it's more quick and straightforward because you've just got automatic quizzes that do it for you whereas like road learning is a lot more difficult to take in for me at least especially for like you know if you go in really niche with russia and stuff it's not easy so um yeah like hopefully you know this will become probably the most co covered hopefully when it gets to the event but yeah um you know kind of like just a little bit differently so i've just like brainstormed what things i can do for certain countries and then i have some train notes so yeah so pretty much like i said my main my main study at the moment will be russia i think russia is very important a lot of the participants are really strong at russia and i really need to get prepared for that I've been doing a lot of grinding for it and you know making it more, the main main country i want to spend time on in the next two weeks is very important um for the bengali i kind of that's kind of a different skill set so it's not overlapping with, with russia it's just more of like get used to the scripts and using it in game quickly and seeing how feasible it is with india but i don't think that's going to be that common but um main thing is for bangladesh is um getting that sorted reading the scripts and getting the region guessing in and then i've got patagonia roads so that's like the other things like trying to find the most distinctive roads and i'll have a session with i at some point so maybe a couple of sessions potentially if there's time and hopefully that will be somewhat well prepared before the event so hopefully that'll be good and like i said the moving stuff 
uh, like I said before, we've got all that information stuff, like, just try to do as much of that as possible. I have mentioned, like, uh, many areas of recaps, like Colombia, Nigeria, of course, Russia, US, India, car meta related stuff, obviously moving related stuff, and then, like, some additional recap if I feel like doing it. But, yeah. And also have, like, strengths of, uh, of recap, like, I wouldn't say Japan's a strong strength, but I feel like for the average player, I'm okay at Japan already. Maybe I might be able to pick up a few things, like maybe I'll have a learn a couple more things for Japan. Um, but I wouldn't say it's like a strong priority. Um, just needs a recap, I would say, and some games maybe. Um, and obviously I mentioned some other stuff like Kenya. Like Kenya probably should be in here, to be honest. Um, not gonna lie. So if I move Kenya into here, um, um, do this maybe. Yeah, I feel like Kenya is quite important. I mean, boss one, I've got a good vibe for, you know, like, the stuff here that doesn't really need too much, like, you know, that I could cover in half spare time. But yeah, like, I've mentioned what my priorities are, so like, Russia, Bangladesh, moving stuff, Gen 4 or Gen 3, Kamehameha stuff, Argentina, I mean, where's Colombia? I mean, Colombia's in high priorities, like, the purple's the high priority stuff that I care about. But as time goes on, you know, things might become less of a priority as you know as the days even go on to be honest because i know i'll have less and less time the more this happens but that's the current situation like i say i'm putting the time in i'm putting the grinding in and yeah i just wanted to give you guys a quick update on that because i think you guys are wondering why you haven't updated for 10 days uh uploaded for 10 days and this is the reason because i needed to step back think about a few things because i was kind of getting overwhelmed at one point um, at the start of the third week I really need to sort things out and get more games in because I was getting frustrated because I was like learning this learning a lot of things that I wasn't always fully remembering but I also wasn't playing games and I wasn't giving myself time to play games which is a problem and I'm not that kind of person to just spam games sadly you know that's not the way I play I'm more of like you know if I know it I will insta send like if I'm strongly confident but I'll, I usually want to weigh up things I want to weigh up clues and landscapes and I also want to practice like it's the real thing like the same settings same format what I think will be most likely based off you know the wild card the other wild card event for Pol Poland you know similar situation to that I portray myself for it as well but it could be different for all I know so we'll see but yeah I think that's the plan is to just keep uh, doing bits and bits of stuff i've got my priority stuff of like the norm move studies so like the road guessing and maybe some metas for getting region guessing that come up often enough in norm move and i've got another bit where i feel like okay i want to do some moving sessions and so on so like if i show you week four hopefully um it doesn't say anything um that's what i'm hoping um where's week four week four exist is week four missing? Okay. Yeah, so... Um, so you see here, like... I was passing some, some stuff with Amon. And if you're curious, um, I, I have done a video with Amon when he was doing practice before he went to Stockholm to participate. And thankfully he got through. Um, there's, there's a video we did. And I think it was a fun video. Yeah, we both had some good guesses i think but we also had some moments that were quite hilarious so yeah it should be a good video but yeah um yeah that's that if you're curious about that and uh, today's been a bit different i don't want to talk about it too much but i had a norway session so if it's kind of overlapped but the general template is I'll, okay i'll do some moving studies for a bit so anything moving related i'll do stuff that i think i can study i think i need to cover give it some time when i get tired have a break and then later on in the day do some no move studies um, or NAPZ related so, so that means I like, may be rush, r learning a few things of rush, r you know, road learning Russia, or learning some metas again, or stuff like that, anything new. And then you can see, like, I have like, my moving and my normal studies, and then have my games practice or big guy practice, which I guess there'll be some casual game practice here as well, depending on how the day's got. So I could switch this still, but I'm not like saying, oh, I want to do a bit of Argentina, I want to do a bit of Russia, I want to do a bit of Colombia, I want to do a bit of Nigeria all in the space of two days because that's just not feasible in terms of how the days go um, it should be how i'm feeling on a day some days i feel like i could do more some days i can feel like i could barely do anything and i need to learn to be efficient with my learning and also not do too much when i'm not really locked in so like i say it's um, very important 
to get that approach right but like i say i have like a day where it's more laid back so it's like resting rest day like on wednesday where i have more recap rather than learning new things and like a more casual games night and then like you know back to thursday back to the studying then friday more laid back again then saturday obviously it's kind of laid back again um and then sunday is also kind of a mixture of both as well so depends how i feel on the day honestly but i still want to be keep doing some things each day because it's good to be in a habit it's good to be in that working habit and grinding habit but it's also good not to do it too much and actually do stuff that you can do as well so um yeah that's the situation with that and yeah i think that's everything i wanted to talk about but the training's going well still um, i will try and do some shorts now and then on my youtube and my instagram instagram link is in the description but i'm hoping that i can keep this going and like i say once it gets to week six as you can see here that's the that's the cutoff point i would say of learning lots of new things at that point it'll be mostly recap because I don't want to be forced learning anything in the last week or so because I probably won't learn it as well. And also, it puts unnecessary pressure on yourself when you, when those rounds come up. And I'd rather be strong at what I've studied in these first sets of weeks than trying to worry about the last set, last couple of weeks by the new things and then be rusty on the things I've been studying for the last, for, for the last month or so. So yeah, hope that makes sense everybody and I hope, you know, you um i understand the situation with the channel with the content like i said no this is not direct gameplay and stuff like i say i'm all i'm not really showing that much for my own reasons as well and i just want to you know sometimes i just want to play games privately and i hope you guys understand that and uh, yeah like i say there will be a video out this week hopefully that's the plan where i played amon uh, a couple of weeks back and maybe you might see some other dual videos at some point maybe on somebody else or on others other channels maybe maybe not mine uh, we'll see about that but uh, yeah i just want to keep you guys updated with the grinding because that is this is so important to me you know i really want to prove people wrong and show that i can compete with the best players you know um and hopefully i can do that on the day and it's my first online event so i could be super prepared and things just fall apart because i'm not used to being in that environment but We'll see what happens. It's going to be a fun experience regardless. And yep, I'll give another update with this by the end of this week, hopefully. If it's a delay, you know, probably expect it the week after. But yeah, I hope you understand the situation. Like I say, I, this, I am taking this seriously and I'm not going to give up. I am definitely going to give it a good fight when I'm in Andorra. I don't want to put on a good show for all you guys at home, um, you know, supporting me. And also, yeah, just be good for the geo. geo for the geo guest computer to have some very high level gameplay shown on the big screen so yeah we'll see what happens fingers crossed the grinding continues going well and you never know this could make the difference you never know jeff but thank you everyone for watching and i'll see you in the next video yeah of course